I've been gaming for over 30 years. My girlfriend has only endured a few of those with me, and she spent that time reviewing what it's like to watch her boyfriend play the latest, greatest, most technologically advanced works of art ever created. Jesus, you really gotta pay attention. Hey, are you happy? Don't. Yet, she often calls today's video games bad. Stop the box I'm looking at! And I don't know who gave her that idea. Look at how close I am and he turns around! You're scaring the dog! Look at However, she lacks the perspective of someone who grew up blowing cartridges and fingering front loaders just to turn on the Nintendo. So when she says a modern game like Forspoken is bad... Uh-oh. Oh, oh uh -oh. my. She's not wrong, but the 90s kid inside me wants to scream, You have no idea how bad it gets! So in this video, we're finally gonna take her back to the past to play the shitty games that suck ass. To really emulate the retro experience, the first thing I did was show her a wall of boxes, each carefully painted to trick children, then told her to choose wisely because like my mama always said, Those games cost up to and including $70. And you never knew what you were gonna get, which is why I always said to my mama that games is like a box of chocolates. I could eat about a million and a half of these. With confidence, my girlfriend chose The Lion King. What is so funny? Ah, yes. I remember when I chose The Lion King. It stopped. It sucked, but I rented it multiple times from Blockbuster. He chose... poorly. Let's see how long it takes my girlfriend to realize that she also chose poorly. What am I going to use that for? If you meow at the rocks, nothing happens. Ooh, he likes that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be a mighty. <laughs> <laughs> Is there uh, anything you wanted it to be? Uh, uh, it's better than I thought it would be. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you did it twice. Oh my. F did I do it? No. What? Just because I touched the grass? Excuse me. Oh my I god. I swear to- I'm not- I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The Lion King entertained her for less than eight minutes before she crapped out. I'm not crapping out. I just don't get it. I need yeah, that's you to tell point. me how to do- I don't know how to do it. I don't think I've ever gotten okay, past the so, screen in my life. So why are you telling me that I'm not jump- that I'm too- that I'm- that I'm not- what? This is when I finally revealed that back in my day, publishers made games like The Lion King terrible on purpose, so you couldn't get too far during a single rental period. What? Well, they should put that on the box! What I didn't reveal is that The Lion King would be the best game she'd play today by a lot. What was that? Because I was about to take her even farther back to the past. To unlock memories better forgotten. Starting with the full motion video arcade classic Dragon's, Dragon's Lair. Lair. It means glory. She's been curious about this game ever since those spooky little nerds played it on Stranger Things. Unfortunately, I didn't let her play the arcade version of Dragon's Lair because we have Dragon's Lair at home, but on regular Nintendo. Let's watch. Oh, that's a doll. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just going to play it like this. <laughs> Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Wait. Oh. I don't like it. Okay. Dragon's Lair entertained her for a generous estimate of nine seconds. I don't want to play this game. If we compare this to her playtime in a modern game she thought sucked ass, such as Pokemon Shield, that's 40 hours, minus her playtime in Dragon's Lair, we get a difference of about 40 hours. <laughs> The lesson here is that back in my day, it took 40 hours to cross a single bridge, and you weren't even in the same grade when you got to the other side. I don't care about that, Grandpa. Oh. That hurtful and frankly ageist insult was a turning point in this sad little experiment I was conducting on my girlfriend, because she's right. I am a grandpa. I mean, I was three years old when Dragon's Lair came out, and compared to a three-year-old, grandpas are... I said, give me the control and some waffle fries. <laughs> I killed the hardest dragon in Dark Souls with a stick. I could kill the dragon in Dragon's Lair. There's only two buttons. How hard could it be? Oh, oh, oh no, Robert, no! Oh, no! Hold on, we'll try again. Just gotta type fart real quick because it's the law. What's rub? If you're old enough to remember rub, you need to schedule your colonoscopy. Round 12, here we go. We're gonna get past the screen. Now, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
Oh my god, I hit him. You hit him, you hit him, you hit him. You're doing it. Bitch, you're doing it. Oh, bitch. Oh, I'm doing it! Yes! Holy shit. Oh my oh, god. god. <sighs> okay. Faster, stronger. Wrong button again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the farthest I've ever been. I'm Good not job. kidding. All right, I still have never made it to level one of Dragon Slayer, but I did beat the dragon, and the 90s kid inside me is satisfied. So it's my girlfriend's turn again to play one last classic. Cash grab piece of shit movie tie-in. But which one? The Wizard of Oz? The Bible? Top Gun? Oh my god. God, how could I forget? So many extra lives lost, dead in the water. Listen guys, maybe I'm strong enough to land that plane now, but I think I'd rather turn the Nintendo off. You just don't turn it off! This video is over. Nothing is over! It's all in the past now. Back there I can fly a gunship. And I did what I had to do to win! But somebody wouldn't let us win! Did I see all those maggots at the airport? Can I try? Yeah, you, yeah, if you want, but I've literally never seen anyone land this plane. Okay, I'm going left now. See how it says left? Yeah, I know. I've done it my whole life. Okay, now right. Do you see? It tells yeah, you where I've to go. I've done this a thousand times. And what? there we go. In conclusion, suffering through my boyfriend's old games did make me realize how far we've come. So even though bad games like Forspoken get released constantly these days, I'd rather listen to this lady yell at her bracelets than ever ride an ostrich again. Ah, and more did ostrich! It. Oh, Jesus Christ. But going back to the past was pretty fun for my boyfriend, and I'd happily do it again if you guys can suggest some really terrible stuff for me to try. Also, if this video inspired you to emulate the retro experience, you might want to check out NordVPN first. A VPN is one of the best ways to protect yourself from any cybersecurity funny business. If you're a streamer like us, you've probably noticed that your internet suspiciously poops its pants when you go live. That's likely thanks to DDoS attacks from stinky jerks who basically flood your IP address with data that can really slow things down. We struggled with this recently, but remembered we subscribed to NordVPN and went, oh yeah, hi, let's obviously turn that on. Using NordVPN hides our IP address, and if a person attempts to DDoS the VPN address, those VPN servers will handle the attack while we continue to be dinguses online without being disrupted. Having NordVPN protects your data, secures your internet, and keeps you safe behind a sturdy wall of next-level encryption. Take control of your internet experience today with NordVPN. Right now, you can get a two-year plan at a huge discount, plus one additional month for free when you go to nordvpn.com slash girlfriendreviews. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com slash girlfriendreviews. There's a link in the description for you to click as well.